Hey everyone, I'm Flying Dutchie and welcome back to Legends of Galatia in our 1v1 skirmish. The third video of our uh, tutorial and preview. So, uh, we left off last time with playing our card on this Hamlet here, so we are going to uh, annoy the AI. We are going to uh, get some units in our citadel and we will try to get the city. And this one is building a portal, so we can transfer our heroes and our armies between two cities. The enemy cannot see my portals here, so it could be a good strategy to use. Click on the end turn. There we go, we killed this... Uh oh, that was a nice effect. Never saw that one before. We killed this hamlet. It's a winter, so we don't make some good gold. We don't make any gold, actually. Hmm. Okay, let's get our armies ready. Uh, you get four guards. Hmm, one moment. And you can only have four units in an army. So, you have four guards, but I want this one to have four guards as well. So we need to get rid of one of these units. She's an attacker. So she, she should, should have uh, the most units, I think. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Let's give her all my men at arms. I mean, uh, no, she has to get rid of some. Let's get up to Grivens. And I will give you four guards, so you have a good defense and a good attack. And this one is alright. Let's build a Ballista. 60 gold, so we can build one only. Uh, let's get this, give this army one ballista. No, 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 wait. We will give it to our attacker. There we go. What would happen if I do this? We only lose three guards. That sounds like a good plan. Let's try to get the city. Uh, you cannot do anything at the moment. But if I sell the ceasefire card... Which is 15, then you have just enough to build. So, oh no, it's 38. Shoot, I'm stupid. Never mind then. You are going to stay here and do nothing. Let's see how this goes. Barrage. And again. Two guards are death. Oh yes. Yeah, and we lost another guard. But that's fine. We still have guards in both of our armies, so... It was a good battle there. A really good one. Settlers. Instantly build Hamlet on target land or upgrade Hamlet to village. I'm going to upgrade my Hamlet here. We have no gold. So uh, the only thing we can do is end turn. Let's get the city, shall we? There we go. Did not lose any more units, so only two guards. That's a very good attack there. Ooh, he has a citadel here as well. I'm going to occupy the city. It takes two turns, but we have two heroes, so it will be one turn. And you are going to build a market here. And I think I will just upgrade a bit. Before we will strike red. I think that's a good plan. So let's click on the end turn again. It's turn 18 out of turn 30. Ooh, he's going for the for, for the, the tower here. There we go. We have a city. Hey, what is this? New card I've never seen before. By territory. Play an unoccupied land to instantly claim ownership of the land. Target land should be unoccupied. Oh yeah, uh, there is no unoccupied land left. So, bye bye card. That's a pity. Okay, I think I'm going to get a bazaar here. 
for even more supply limit so we can get uh, insane armies. And I think I will get my last hero, Zalaban, who is a defender. It will bring four griffins and two dragons. So what we can do now is teleport him to oh, the city. You just click on the character you want to uh, teleport. So there we go. He will go here. Do we have a teleportation thing here then? No. So how is it possible that this unit can teleport? Really? Can you always uh, teleport to another city? That is the question right now. I think this is weird. <clears throat> I really think this is weird. Well, in any case, I will make use of it. Um, why not? You are going to Snow Pine Hold. And my merchant is going to get a... Bazaar here for even more supply limit. And this unit is going to... Go here. And then I will uh, click on my merchant and will upgrade in this city. Teleport him to here. And then we will try to strike red. So uh, let's end the turn again. If 10 turns left. Yeah, there he is. But we don't have a, a portal here. So I think that's a bug. So if anyone of our uh, of the devs is looking, I think I found a bug here. Of course, this is all uh, pre-alpha, so uh, pre-beta. Ten turns remaining. I know. I want to know how many armies are here. But I cannot see it. You are going to get teleported also to Snow Pine Hold. We are going, both going to occupy this one. And I think I will build a fort here. You. Could also start building. You know what? Let's do it. Let's, uh, let's get another market here. 113 gold left. I will keep the gold. Let's see what Red is going to do. Maybe they are going for my fort here. And we are in a little bit of trouble. But they should defend their territory, if you ask me. Okay. Um, so we have this province here. These three. So we get these bonus, 27 gold. Behind the cloud here. We don't have Kanthia. We still have to get this province in, the, in this whole region. This region, I mean. And I think they call it a kingdom in the game. Um, yeah, we could go for the strike or make ourselves stronger first. And I am, I think I want to do the second one. We are in a forest here, so we have a defense bonus. So if I just go in uh, defensive mode, we will get an extra defense bonus as well. So we can see what, the, what his units are going to do. Are they going to uh, kill my tower here? Or... Are they going to retreat? Try to defeat me? That is the question. I think I will get my um, wizard here as well. Because he is a defender on our own territory. And this is our territory. So we get even more defense bonus. And you are just going to build something. Let's build the barracks here. And let's click on the end turn button. He is going to... Is Citadel, so I think I will advance and take uh, this province here. It's summer, so we should use our bumper crop card again. Where do we make the most gold? I think in this one. Yeah. Because we have a village here, we will make more gold in this province than our capital. So let's do that one. You.
Well, actually, just uh, improve these uh, territories to a hamlet so we make more gold. We need more gold at the moment. I think I will take all these units to this uh, hamlet here. Maybe we can occupy it before he attacks. Get another defense bonus with our uh, wizard. So I think I will do this. And the turn. He is going for the city. The stupid AI. The stupid AI is going for the city. So we have almost a free path now to his... Uh, to his uh, capital city. Look how much gold we have. 490. Let's build another hamlet. We have Imperial Guards. All friendly men-at-arms and archers become guards. Only one hero is affected if played on a stack. This, car this card is overpowered. It's too overpowered. One of our units, hopefully this one, will get 28 guards. They cannot defeat 28 guards at the moment. They cannot. That is not possible. Trust me. Um, the thing is, if I use it on this stack here, it could also affect my other unit. This one. Wait, where is it? Come on. The six arches. But I want to, to use it on this one. So I'm going to test something. Will this card affect the, the hero with the most units that it can convert? I want to check this. I'm going to occupy this. Wait, maybe if I do it like this and this one goes on defensive stance, maybe this one will get it. It would be very nice. I will keep my gold for reinforcements and the turn. And let's see uh, which units will become guards. I'm very curious. Very curious. Yep, it took the wrong one. So it only converted six archers to guards instead of 28 of these. Maybe you could change this, uh, developers. Make the card uh, uh, convert the one with the most units it can convert. Standard. Hopefully you can uh, change that. That would be nice. Because of course you want this as a player. So why not make it uh, automatically happening? I think that's a good thing. I'm going to use my summon arches. So we have even more units. And I think... I'm going to get this fort here. Oh. All our units. You are going here to get an upgrade as well. Or you wait, wait, stay here and build a village. That's also fine. 60 more population. Then we should go for the gold. Go. He's going to occupy a city though. So he will not get defeated uh, that soon. But it's only 6 turns left. And I think... Uh, the one with the most points will win. If the turns are over. Yeah, they have their city. Five turns remaining. A ceasefire guard. And they only have 14 units in their capital city. Interesting. You are going here to build another hamlet for more gold and population, of course. How am I going to do this? I think. To get their capital, capital city, takes two turns. So I should get two heroes over here right now. And kill those uh, 14 units. Let's have a look. I am going to... Send you over. And send you over. And my wizard will just try to occupy this one in two turns. That is what I am going to do. This army will go for, come for me though, but uh, we will see. I think this is the best thing to do. Yeah, there he comes. He built some more units. He has 29 units now in his capital.
that we are killing them. They only kill two guards. What is this one going to do? That is the question. They could attack me, but they don't have that many units. Uh, of course they can recruit more here and then attack me, and I think they will. But the AI is stupid by building uh, troops in this fort, which they cannot reach. So that's very bad. Um, I think I will go to the city as well, so we are safe. Because we have 6 units here, and this stack has 22 units, I'm the first one to move. So if he is going to attack this unit, he cannot do it, because I will be gone here first. You are going to build another hamlet, more gold, and we are going to occupy the city. Yep, yeah, they are going to attack me. I think that's really stupid. We still have guards left. We are killing a lot of their units. I think we are going to stack wipe in. Yep. It was a very stupid move of the AI. <laughs> So they don't have any heroes now doing anything. Um, so what we could do... Is this. I will give you all these things. Wait. Like this. Zalaman will stay here. He will occupy the fort. And those two will go to the other city. And then we, have, and then we won the game. Look how much gold we have right now. So, yeah, if you were defeated right now, I could do this. I could get 10 guards and 10 ballistas. This is so strong. This is too strong. Get some griffins to it. So when this army is getting catched by, for example, my merchant, they're going to win anyway. Let's do that for the fun. I think we won the game already. There we go, we killed the Yurdis again. So yeah, just make sure you have guards in every hero stacks. They are so strong. Two turns left, I'm going to the city and I'm going to occupy it in the turn after it. You are going to catch these units here. We are on our force limit, so uh, good that we made some buildings. Let's end the turn again. So the AI is not that strong yet. Not that smart. There we go, we have their capital city now. So we only have to capture this city and we won the game. Because they don't have any heroes left. Uh, oh, I could do this. Super powerful uh, merchant here. That's too late, we cannot take this fort anymore. So we have a smite card. Uh, we cannot use this because there are no enemy troops left. Oh, we can use it on the fort. Let's do it for fun. So 30% uh, will go away in this fort. Yeah, that is fine. So, you smite, so uh, some units are gone here. We are going to occupy the city. And we won the game. One turn before the end. It took 38 minutes to complete. Uh, well... These are our victory points. We killed two heroes. We hired 152 troops. The gold we earned, etc. 11 uh, controlled cities, territories. And I had two kingdoms, two regions. So that is how a uh, skirmish game goes in 1v1. So for the, 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 the developers, please uh, make the AI a bit smarter. It would be nice. Of course, it will be a multiplayer game, but. Uh, the AI right now is really stupid. Uh, I think I found a bug with the portal. When you don't have a portal in uh, your other city, you can still go there with one portal built in your uh, capital city. I think you should have built a portal in the uh, second city as well. So please review that one. And uh, that was it for now. So uh, thanks for watching. In the next episode, we will start a six player game this is going to take a very long time but it's going to be so much fun
you can backstab allies, etc. So uh, it is going to be very nice. So hopefully see you in the next part where I will uh, play on the six player map. And for now, see you next time. Bye bye.